Hi everyone, Rosie here, back with another video. Um, this one's a little bit different, so actually this one is about an art retreat that I went on last October. This art retreat is run by a really, really lovely family. And um, if you're ever in Shropshire, I highly recommend going to the old school campsite, uh, Gifted Crafts is the name of it, and Rachel, super, super sweet, super talented teacher, uh, can pretty much teach you anything that you wanna learn, so highly recommend it. Um, basically, uh, we went um, on this on this trip because I spotted that Rachel, who actually used to be my art teacher when I was at school, um, uh, said that she did these art retreats with glamping tents, and I was like, that sounds like so much fun. So we uh, we planned to book it, and then I I think lockdown happened, and everything got pushed back. But eventually, we got to go at a rather unfortunate time, though, for us, because Doug and I were in the process of completing on this flat, which meant that we were quite stressed. The weather was awful, there was no signal, we tried to reach our solicitors in the rain, it was traumatic. Um, but we got through it and I still had a really nice time learning lots of new skills. So hopefully you enjoy this little vlog where I show off some of the things I did, have a bit of a chat with you. Um, it's very chill, so you know, just sit down, get a cup of tea, listen along, you know, watch uh, me have a go at various crafts enameling fascinating um and yeah i'll see you on the other side i'm gonna show you the supplies that i bought with me on this art trip i bought quite a lot actually um first off i brought a few sketchbooks i really struggled to decide because i was about to finish this sketchbook here um as you can see um i haven't got like much left to do there's some scrappy drawings only a few pages if i brought that with me even though i never actually finished it on this trip um i was concerned that i would not have another sketchbook to draw in so i brought uh, my my new mini sketchbook which um is currently like six months later still in its early stages um but yeah i stuck my new stickers on it and i thought it was really cute so hopefully I was hoping that I would have started it, but anyway. I also brought my spare supplies, what do I call this? Leftover sketchbook, which is where I put any leftover paint from a palette. So it's super random, um, but yeah, I got that sketchbook for free from a seller on Etsy who was really sweet. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my planner where I um, had all of our like house moving stuff in it. So I brought it with me so I could mark down if we actually got an exchange date because we were hoping to get an exchange date or at least to exchange yeah as you can see completion date is written in it we were really hoping um to have <laughs> to have some some information at this point so i brought my planner obviously and um yeah uh also i had a bristol board pad because sometimes i paint straight onto that which I brought way too much stuff with me basically because I, yeah, never, but I do prefer Bristol board for working with acrylic wash um, if I'm making like a little painting as a gift or something. So yeah, that stuff's really good. You can actually buy little pads of a similar thickness from Jackson's Art Supplies if you like doing small paintings. Then I'm gonna show you my kit, which, um, pardon the terrible filming, so this kit, I brought a palette with me, which I've treated absolutely appallingly. Um, some paintbrushes, which rested on top. This is actually one of those like, organizer things, but it keeps everything way more safe than if I had a pencil case. I brought some of my Neo Color, Caran Dash Neo Colors, some pencil leads because I love to draw with pencil leads. Um, I brought a few colors because I got those ages ago, but I actually really like all those colors. They're really nice. Um, can you tell that I haven't seen this footage in forever? <laughs> I can. Um, and then I brought a ton of Posca pens because I love using Posca pens. And I brought my favorite colors. I think I bought about 10 Posca pens, usually in the big chunky kind because the best colors are in the chunky kind. And then I bought about 10 acrylic gouache paints. I really don't know if I used them. I think I did use them once on this holiday. Uh, and then a pencil, a fine line brush and some clips to open my sketchbook. So yeah, that was what I brought with me. I'm on holiday and this is like an art retreat that um, we booked ages ago. And so, yeah, um, 
I've already stayed in the tent once. It's a glamping tent, so there's a bed. Can you see that? There's a bed, and then it's just a big, a big tent. On this edge here, if you leave a little bit extra, because that's not perfectly straight. Okay. And then we'll do we to line it up. That's the lot of a dirty one. So you know it goes that way. Lovely. Oh, nice and Crowd across the way was on your face and then from the eighties. Someone keeps blocking my way. Hi everyone, I haven't spoken to the camera much on this holiday. It's very difficult because I'm currently on an art retreat with my parents and Doug. And what I mean by that is I'm in Shropshire at something, at a at a place called the Old School Campsite, which is excellent, I highly recommend you check it out. And basically myself and my mum booked on for the art retreat and we get to stay in a glamping tent. And then Doug and my dad um, are just hanging around here doing different activities because not only do they have an art retreat but they also do kayaking canoeing rock climbing that kind of stuff this art retreat you get to pick five activities and some of them could be like drawing uh intermediate expert you could kind of go up and up depending on if you wanted to spend lots of time on something or you could pick five different disciplines as it was me and mum doing it together we had to choose together what we wanted to do so mum said she wanted to do, learn how to crochet and i was like sure why not give it a go and then we did book binding because i really wanted to learn how to do that i thought it'd be really fun um drawing just because i wanted the opportunity to draw but i'll be honest it's been a rough day for me <laughs> um and we also are doing enameling tomorrow, which I'll try and film if I can. Um, the fifth one actually ended up being double book binding um, because we spent all day doing it. I was very slow. Let me show you what I've made so far. Okay, cool. So what have I been doing? So um, when we did crochet, we sat in Rachel, who's the lovely um, teacher who shows you all the stuff. I sat in her house for the first one because it was crocheting and there was no need to be in the studio. Um, and so, um, I made some crocheted bowls. Actually, what she taught us how to crochet. It was like a half day session. She taught us um, bits and pieces and I did some stuff that was very basic, like strings and stuff, you know. And then I said, I really want to know how to make a bowl because my friend, Linda, hi Linda, if you're watching, not that I think you watch these. Um, and she made some really cool crocheted bowls for our board gaming where you get a different colour for each player and you put your bits and pieces in it. So I did this one and I finished it uh, one evening and then last night I did another one and as you can see it's definitely getting better. And then I've started the next one. So I'm getting neater and neater, see? Can it focus? Yeah. Isn't that cool? So then I've got a yellow one that I'm going to do as well and that's all four board game colors um so that was fun and the next day we did book binding and i'll show you my sketchbooks that i made so it was a whole day session and i can't believe i made this little but um we were planning on doing four and i was very slow at cutting out paper i'm terrible at measuring i'm not that kind of 
person I took ages anyway the first one we did was this little book and it has one signature in it so what a signature is is it's the um, you know when you have those books which are made up of pages I'll show you with this one see each one of those is a signature um, so this is one signature uh, and then we made the back and I chose this delightful green and then I tore the edges to make it cool and I stitched it together and it's got really long gap here but anyway that's really cool this is going to be my frog sketchbook I'm only going to draw frogs in here that's my plan that's why it's green <laughs> um, and then this one um, is made out of like a fake leather and it's stitched together like this which I always really liked and the, the reason the stitching is really cool is it lies completely flat because it has so much space to open out um, and so I chose lots of different paper, some matte paper and I sort of inserted them every few so there's different textures and I went with this sort of leathery texture my mum made this one which has a book uh, sorry, a board on the outside, um, and she did absolutely tons. She was way faster than me. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. All I want to do now is get something to wrap around it to so keep it together, and then I'm going to turn the last bit of the thread into like a bookmark. I might crochet it. Um, but that's what I'm going to do this evening in the studio because you're allowed to come use the studio if you want to. You can do different things. You can do a full layer of it if you want to. You could go slightly blended like that or half and half the surface. So I'm terrible with tweezers, so I do it with my fingers because I just can't do it. And then not too close to the edge. So I'm just going to shimmy that in slightly. And I'm actually just going to make sure it sits into the powder a little bit. So I'm just pushing it in slightly. looks so cool because as it comes out it's glowing and yeah. then the colour slowly emerges as it's it cools so down cool. it's really nice. Yeah, so that's... Whoa! Popped. Oh, the mother of all it's glowing. Whoa! Look at the colours change. Whoa. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at that. Did you go for red? Is it a bit Oh, it's Oh, it's, 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 blues and turquoise oh, it's changing. There. And a golden... Changing. Oh, the gold is done it, hasn't it? <laughs> Bird's eye view of this thing. There you go, precious. Bye. What do you reckon? Yeah. You take it out. You take it out, yeah. And then just, if you want to put it back in for a little bit longer, oh God, missed fine. it.
thanks so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it um i would love to get your recommendations of rt holidays uh, that you love and things that you've done and new skills that you want to learn um, because I love this kind of thing um, and yeah thanks so much again for watching please go give Rachel some love um, go follow her on Instagram she shows off all the brilliant things that they do it's also like just a beautiful place where they live so there's lovely photography and she's actually really good at photography as well so yeah please please go and support this this wonderful small business um, and, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I have no catchphrase, so speak soon. I'll do another video very soon. I'm better at this now, I swear. <laughs> Bye.